The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. I gotta get the thumbnail. I know. <laughs> Yay! There hey. we go. Why can't I hear myself? There we go. Wait. We're professionals. Oh. No. Hello. Hello. Hi, everybody. Hi. It's uh. Yeah, you go. You go, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Oh no. Like he's having a good way. It's <laughs> getting uh, This is the real BBC. Bagging, boarding, and chatting, although there's no bagging and boarding going on today. Today will be a short version of the show, which is like two and a half hours, just so you know. Yeah, That's sure. Short version. Uh, because uh, I'm getting ready for Dallas, and I have a big announcement. Uh, after the introductions, I have a big announcement about uh, the Fan Expo that's very exciting. It's very exciting. My name is Gary Bickler. I come from uh, nerdrotic.com. My mom's a vagina. And uh, I don't know my daddy. That's okay. Fuck him. I don't care. Uh, uh, oh, that's so, an intro. <laughs> I know, right? Kind of dark. But uh, it's a dark day because Mahler is a mm. Nazi. Oh, why'd you tell him? I was hoping they'd figure it out from all of the long... Well, Twitter figured it out, you know. They got me again. The sleuths online on Twitter figured out that Mahler, Nazi. And Twitter's always right. Yeah, but before we get to the Nazi, let's get to the skinhead. <laughs> As how are you? <laughs> I'm Hi, good. Uh, my name's Az. I knew my dad for six years, and I ran away from home because of him. Mm -hmm. oh. So uh, Gary and I have got nearly a hundred years of life between us, and six years of dad. <laughs> <laughs> well at least i got an adopted one it was really cool and 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 we've still come out better than today's youth <laughs> with smart. all their fancy technologies that's and... not a fair fight as they had no chance <laughs> <laughs> they had twitter they never stood a chance no, you but... had no internet and socializing <laughs> it was it was rigged from the start <laughs> Uh, but I just, I just want to actually, uh, since we're on a slightly serious note, uh, I just want to give my condolences to uh, Dark Side Phil, who uh, who had to get up an hour early uh, to uh, to try and uh, make that money to pay his bills, oh, no. his uh, internet bill, his gas bill, his mortgage, and uh, he didn't get it. Oh. He didn't get it, so uh, he uh, he sat there, cried, and uh, blamed his audience because that's what you want. You wanted him to do that, audience. You wanted him to do those live reacts to the uh, the video game stream. So uh, because of you, he's now ill with a sore throat, and uh, he's got to take his wife out today for uh, a meal. R.I.P. So that's, in, that's in the chat for Phil. Side, Phil. Yeah, all right. Sorry, Phil. Yeah. And his bills, his bills, all bills, those the everyday bills, everyday bills, dude. <sighs> I don't have everyday bills. You mean the ones we all managed to pay on time? Yeah, including, including car registration and insurance. Oh god! <laughs> but dude, that they're, they're massive bills. I had to, he had to pay two massive bills this week: his internet bill and his uh, insurance. They're massive. Adulting is hard. 
hate that word. Uh, apart from that, go fuck him. Um, <clears throat> hi, great to be here. Love you all. That hi. includes chat. We love you too. Hello, chat. That, of course, that includes chat, you sexy chat. We Hello, you. chat. How you doing? Okay. Uh, is it Mueller? <laughs> oh, my Mueller. <laughs> The Mueller. The Mueller. Um, well, I mean, I've known my dad my whole life. Uh, he's a legend. I love him. He's still around. Aww. Still Aww, kicking. That's, that's he got nice. me into movies. We like Mueller dad, too. Oh, yeah. He's cool. Dadler. Um, Dadler. <laughs> I'll, uh, I, 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 yeah, uh, but, oh, gosh. What, how, what, what could I even involve in this intro other than there was that TV show that was popping out about Star Wars, and I was watching mm -hmm. it. <laughs> that's fine. That's all fine. No worries. Uh, Star Wars, Mueller, Space the Heights. Star Wars, yeah, uh, Star it was one Wars. of the Star Wars. I don't know which one, but uh, yeah, you know. Uh, then I uh, then I saw a friend of mine was like, "Oh, I'm going to share an opinion online." And I was like, "Why would you do?" Oh no! And then there was just an explosion. <laughs> there's there's been blood in the streets. There's fires everywhere. I don't know what it's we can summer do. Summer 2020 this. all over again. And my, and I can't wait to talk to you guys about some of the arguments that have been popping up. Some of them are funny as hell. And uh, as someone in a super chat very early on in the in the before the show went live said apparently we have a long way to go with uh convincing anybody what good writing is <laughs> we got a long way to go well some people not everybody kenobi had its january 6th moment it is such a good show <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. And it's the dumbest <laughs> god. That show, it's so funny that like everybody's talking about Kenobi and absolutely no one is talking about Miss Marvel, yet they're both failing to get dude. I didn't know it had come out. I only found out like two days ago. I was like, what do you mean? There was like people are talking about the fifth episode, it's not out yet. <laughs> Like, wait, the most it is? reviewed Marvel show of all time. Six people liked it, although we're not showing their faces on Rotten Tomatoes. Or, <laughs> by the way, all the critics are now missing again from unless it's my, I don't know, my Chrome or whatever. But I just checked uh, Rotten Tomatoes, and uh, all the critics that were the two critics that were there are gone. Oh my god! And there's Crazy. no percentage details. There's no numbers of how many fans have voted where they usually are. It's very odd, but all oh. the other stuff has it. Uh, yeah, n uh, n zero, zero to all critics on uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, we'll go over that in, in a moment. Um, what else is very odd is they've released this. They started releasing it halfway through Kenobi releasing. What are you doing? Like, you are the company that umbrellas the lot of it. Why exactly? How can you not conclude that they're like? Eh, just put it out, whatever. Just put it out. <laughs> like, it's like Kenobi is distracting everybody right now. Just pop it out. It's fine. But you notice how they they put out this is the the best reviewed Marvel show of all time, like mm. six hours after it came oh, out. <laughs> wow, <laughs> those reviews just pouring in. It's like, quick, uh, it's now the top. Get out quick. Get the tweet out quick before in case it goes down. We got to find the guy. Uh, Eric did a video. Eric July, the great Eric July. Halo. Mm. Eric July. Uh, did God, he's been pumping out some amazing stuff recently. He's Holy he's shit. On fire. He's been on fire, that man. And listen to that man talk sense all day. Comic company. It's crazy. It's crazy. He doesn't sleep and he's young. I, I told him to do all this shit while you're young, buddy. Um, so he did a video on a guy. I got to find the guy on Twitter who like didn't like Miss Marvel, but then he went to the premiere and saw it with people and saw the cultural impact. And all of a sudden he likes it. You know, uh, it, okay. it, it's. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect access. Meeting. I watched it and it was like, eh, it wasn't, you know, didn't think it was that great. But then I saw it at the premiere and I was just amazed by the cultural impact and, and the inclusion. Oh, yeah. For everyone. So now I think it's great. So they they released it in theaters in Pakistan. Did they do that in India too? Did they release it? In oh, India? I, I, don't, I don't. I was think wondering. So. I was curious. I don't, I don't, I don't. A little curious. A little curious. I don't, I don't. Curious like X, that's X Ray Girl's curious face right there. Mm. Anime curious. X Ray. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm very. Just need a nanny. Could like come across the screen or something. Nanny. This is, ooh, oh, this is also docking. This is docking and ooh. Oh, 
What the hell is docking? That sounds. Uh, don't, dude, don't what? Google docking. Every time somebody says don't Google something, somebody Googles it. <laughs> somebody in chat is Googling it right now, and they're about to regret it in three, two, two one. one. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, oh I don't God. actually know what docking is, but I was talking about it um, when I was doing my Firefly review um, because there was one episode where a ship docked on another ship, and <laughs> that, I don't know. Okay. That's just normal. That's the nice docking. That yeah, then, we're, we're okay with that. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what that other not so nice docking is. How are you finding Firefly? I love it. Love it. I just <laughs> <have> it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, did warn you. <laughs> I tried. I'm sorry. <laughs> when he say like, don't that Google that, it's just the, you, you can feel the people's fingers just already going. Ooh. <laughs> like, oh, they're tingling. They're tingling. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I told you. Yeah. So, speaking of Dawkins and uh, Star Wars, so... <laughs> oh, yeah. Kenobi. Kenobi. Uh, when, when we finished episode three on good old EFAP and we got our coverage out, a lot of people were like immediately saying, can't wait for them to see four. Oh, four, four, four. Jay Logba was just like, have you seen four yet? And I was like, no way it's worse than three. And everyone was like, <laughs> <laughs> they missed last words never <laughs> say that in today's climate more <laughs> uh, yeah we uh there was a top comment on one of the videos that was just like are we serious is this like the seventh time the show like first episode if you're lucky has some potential second episode it usually starts falling apart and the third episode is just it hits the fucking floor it's like what the hell every day what is going on? Like, what, why can't they make a show to save their lives anymore? So it's a pattern. So it's it's a Disney pattern, right? It's like Kenobi's MCU. We could just say it. It's yes. a trademark MCU. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is what I mean by docking about, man. You guys are early. And like, look at the memers. Like, what they got up this morning, had their coffee. The Legion of Memers did. Yeah, they're all set up ready. They got like 15 monitors, 16 <laughs> keyboards, 20 billion files of memes ready to go. Where's the docking? You never <laughs> dock with an average citizen. <laughs> <laughs> that is so strangely weird to today's comic industry as well, because that's true. <sighs> I'm going to have to find so, out what docking means, don't I? Oh, don't do it. Don't. <laughs> do it um left out. remember so, on friday night tights when we talked about that video and chrissy decided to watch it live oh <laughs> there's a video no no you i'm not even bringing that up again <laughs> no, I'm I'm not the video. it's i don't want you to see it you're you're too nice too innocent you're too nice <laughs> She's too nice and innocent. The rest of y'all can watch. Like. Gary doesn't watch much of Sunday streams, does he? <laughs> look, Gary, look, do it, do it for her, right? But if not, look at all those cuddly creatures in the background that would have to deal with this. Yeah, like, they, they, you wouldn't want them to see it. Yeah, yeah. No, exactly. You got a new little pooch. You don't want to taint that pooch. Oh, he's so cute. He is. He's very adorable. Unlike that video we were talking about. <laughs> Uh, I I got I I have to say I did like what she had to say about uh the the actress from uh Miss Marvels was asked about the six one six and she's like no, no yeah no. that was cool that was cool. Mm -hmm. she's got personality she's got presence she just hasn't got a script yeah yeah and, and that's normally the case that's normally the case with everything we talk about uh Yo. except with like um. Sonequa Martin Green, who can't act, oh. Brie Larson, who can't act, and uh, Moses Ingram, who can't act in this show. Uh, but no, oh. you know, McGregor, so it's all good. It's or all bad, really. N nobody uh, in in Kenobi is is shining. Nobody. Everyone is terrible. From from you and McGregor down, all the performances are, are, are poor. Right. There's a particular least... line from uh, Reaver in this episode. I can't remember what she said, but she did the um when a child tries to, to pretend to be angry, we go. Urgh! When you do that with your voice and your delivery, so like you know, if you say, uh, if you're actually like, you go fuck off, but if you like pretend, you go fuck off. 
Fuck off. Ugh. Fuck like, off, he, Ricky. He did that with like one or two of your lines, and I was like, come on, that's amateur hour. What the fuck? Like, I, no, I, I thought Amateur Hour was her trying to interrogate a ten-year-old girl about <laughs> nothing she knows about, right? I, th- I well, so and that's then going, for me. "Ooh, you're resisting my false mind. You're so strong." On one hand, she does know nothing, and this is all really stupid. On the other, she does know something, and why the fuck would a ten-year-old know all the secrets of the Rebel Alliance? Like, why, why would you, why would they even tell her anything by now? She's because they young. think it's Leia from the original trilogy, it's, and it's I think not. You're right. They have literally like supplanted. The, she's like, it's just her, but ten. It's no difference, really. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane. Hello, Nina. Hello, Nina. Hi. Okay, I'm just gonna be straight up honest. Your husband's hitting you. No, no, no. no my face is fine. I slept in. <laughs> I slept in. I woke up literally at like twelve, and I was like. Well, he woke me up and he's like, don't you have the real BBC today? And I was like, that's a good God husband. Damn it. I, I don't think this has happened to me in like 20 years to be kind of like late for work. So I'm sorry, Gary. I I, I apologize as Mahler. You th- really? Yeah, really apologize to, to those it. guys. Like, I, I can't, I, honestly. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm <good. laughs> X-ray girl, hi. Like, you're, you're talking to the see. pot here. I can't yeah, fucking I can't say shit. <laughs> Get all you're talking to the pot, okay? <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. That this is this like rarely ever happens to me anymore because I'm. I said, that's what that's she what, said. That's what. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but hi, hi everybody. So you guys are talking about Kenobi and how great it is and how racist we all are. Obi Wan Kenobi. What's this? Oh, God. That's you, McGregor, laughing <laughs> at uh, the script of Kenobi. What do you want to Dude, bet? From, it, it, from what I've heard, uh, a lot of like more. I hate. I don't want to use this word. Okay, so people who are usually in favor of these shows, I've seen mm-hmm. a lot of them be like, "Man, that episode four was a bit stinky, huh?" Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. Uh, one of the biggest shows out there said it's the worst episode of Disney Plus he's ever seen. Um, I, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I don't know about that. It's pretty uh, well, when you got Boba Fett to compete with. Uh, yeah, like, <laughs> the Boba Fett uh, Vespa thing, which I have oh, only God. seen in videos. Like, I didn't watch the whole fucking show. I only watched those like I did. Gary, and I the survived. Mandalorian. Yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> so I guess I can't say because I haven't seen every Disney Plus show. But dude, uh, Hawkeye episode, the last episode of Hawkeye is pretty fucking bad. Like. I know um, I didn't see that one, but my God, uh, Falcon and the Woke Soldier, man, that was some of the worst TV I think I've ever seen in my life. Like that was is, terrible. Yeah, when you you pass it all out onto a table, it's like which is the worst? You're like, well, and the the, the salesman is like arguing really well for every single thing. <laughs> like you're just like, I don't know, it's, they're all shit. The weird thing about Falcon though was you had Walker. Who was actually like a decently written character in terms of it? He was sort of playing it, you know, straight. But remember, they and he didn't was know what they had sur- with him. Yeah, but they, they were, they, and he was surrounded by clowns, <laughs> like yeah, literal they, clowns. They wrote him to be an antagonist, but all the audience was rooted for him. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because their version of an antagonist was actually a guy with with who's got the right idea. Like this is a guy who got. Given the shield because of he earned the it. meritocracy, so he earned the shield. Then you had uh, Black Falcon getting mad because he had the shield, even though Black Falcon gave up the shield. What yep. does the first thing Walker does when he goes into the field? He says, "Hey, Black Falcon and your boyfriend, can you do you want to team up? Let's team up. Let's do mm-hmm. this together." Yeah. And they went. No. Oh, no. yeah. Careful. Remember, this is after the first thing he actually does with them, which is save their lives. Save them. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Fucking hate that show so much. I'm telling you, that was the worst one. Like by so many miles. It's a. It's a. Like a, I think an argument could be made for so many. Like Book of Boba Fett was atrociously shit. I, I just mm-hmm. I want to make sure everyone remembers that. <laughs> well, I just don't watch Disney Star Wars smaller, so I can't. That's fair. Um, that. I wouldn't recommend this. Kenobi either. Uh, but yeah, it's been getting... Um, I will be honest, 3 made me mad, episode 3. I was actually really fucking angry with how they did Kenobi and, and Vader. That was some of the most embarrassing shit. And 
Uh, but four, I was I was kind of laughing. I, I was laughing at a lot of the stuff that happened in four. It was so silly. Um, and apparently, from what I'm gathering, that was intentional, and you're supposed to have fun with the episode. What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Listen, Ed, whenever you have like a, a an emotional reaction to it, that was the intended one. Therefore, good content. You understand? But the emotional reaction has to be based off the tone of the show, and the tone of the show wasn't comedic. So it's funny you say that. A lot of people with this this particular scene that has been getting around, um, a lot of them have been saying, "Yeah, it's a funny scene," and it's like, "There's no, f it's not funny." Wait, what's no. the scene? I haven't seen it. Oh, oh, can we show Nina the? Um, yeah, 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 absolutely. Because can we get God. Jay's uh, tweet over? You got Jay's tweet. Oh yeah, yeah. Um. Hang on, because uh, I was going to say the clip in there may make the point clear. I'm not sure if you need to see the episode because it's only 10 seconds, but I, th I think you should be all right. Um, mm. uh, I guess to give context, uh, Leia's been captured by the Inquisitors and Kenobi sneaks second in time. with a friend. Sorry? <laughs> kidnapped for the second time. Oh, yeah, in sorry. Episodes. Second time she's been kidnapped. Uh, yeah, in their stronghold. A stronghold that, by the way, has no shields because why shield a place no one would attack? Oh, uh, that's one of the, the oh, stupidest being things attacked. I've heard ever. By the way, <laughs> what do you guys really get attacked because it doesn't have any shields? Like, what? <laughs> what? Did you guys call the Inquisitory, whatever the fuck it's called, the butt plug, the yes. Empire's butt plug? Yeah, that was pretty good. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, they they break in easily. Everything is great, and they get her out. But they have to get her from inside to the 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 docking station. Let's say for the uh, to get onto a ship and get out of there. How are they gonna hide her? And, you know, Star Wars had a couple of different disguises over time. People even referenced Rogue One. Do you remember they dressed up in the um, the captain in, like, one of the pilot outfits? And K2SO was already an Empire converted droid, so he passes. So, you know, they all have their costume. In the original, you have the Stormtrooper outfits. Like, ah, oh, yeah, so what did they do in this one, I wonder? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are you excited to know, Nina? Yes, I'm very excited to know. Well, Dying. one of them is dressed as a captain. And so that's that's pretty simple. Kenobi puts on a trench coat and a hat. Oh, I'm so I'm so surprised he didn't dress up as a woman. Okay. Well, um, the the trench coat I don't even know where he got it from, but um, that doesn't that doesn't really do anything, and so he's probably just going to get spotted. But mm -hmm. you know, we got a third character, Leia. What is okay. she going to be having for a disguise? Perhaps she'd be too short for a stormtrooper. Maybe maybe put her over your shoulder, wrapped in a coat, so that it looks like you're carrying something. Maybe put her in a container, something that's on wheels and just look like maybe... I'd say didn't. probably a container, like, you know, just I don't yeah, know, Yeah, you, you could maybe even make a... Put her, hollow out a droid and put her in it. There's got to be something you oh, can yeah, do. Oh, yeah, hollowing out a droid, that's a good idea. Um, They come up with a better plan. And, oh, uh, so I was going to say, should I say it or are we just going to show the clip? Let's show it. Let's, <laughs> let's just show it. Ooh, I'm, I'm excited. Itself, I think. Bear in mind, and you'll see it in the clip, there are hundreds of different personnel walking around them at all times okay, in this I moment. Got I got it. Uh-oh. Oh, what on. did they do? Oh, you're no. Waiting for, you're waiting for me, and uh, I will... Oh, stop. Where's... Wait, there's no video. I know, I'm... Oh. <laughs> I just, I just heard the audio. That was that was why I had all that preamble. I was giving you time to set it up. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and I was like, I was like listening to you. I was like, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! All right, here Wait, we go. Hold on, let me take off my glasses. Okay. Oh, that didn't, that didn't help at all. That didn't help. Uh, That's actually better like this. Let's do it like this. Uh, you scrum. What the fuck? Is she just like right there? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Are you fucking serious right now? Yeah. <laughs> look at those two storms in the walking past. Go, don't look left, don't look left, don't look left, don't look left. No. Uh, as I said in, in the pre show, it's not unusual for a Disney employee to have a little child under their coat. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. So go through help. Tonight. Wow. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, it's like one of those things where you, they may as well have, like put her like, you know, on top of the head and there then had so... the trench coat go like all the way down. So he looks like an extra tall person. Like, yeah, you know, um, what, uh, what I ended up spotting as a result, of, it came to my head immediately when, when uh, this was happening was fucking Austin Powers. Uh, do you remember when Mini-Me is... <laughs> 
yeah. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can get an yes. image of that. It's so yes. fucking classic. <laughs> Could someone meme but that? Is, for anybody who doesn't know, Austin Powers is a fucking joke. Yes. Yeah. When, like, when they do it, because somebody, right? We, I'll bring up a couple of them as we go through, because there's so fucking many amazing ones. Someone quote tweeted this and said, "As somebody with like a, a sort of wide hips as a man, it's kind of annoying that you just assume this looks unusual." And Jay, do you know what Jay said in response? What? what? How many legs do you have? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> is, this, is it four? Like... <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, hey, you... did that guy over there look suspicious? Oh no, that's the Doctor Robotnik guy <laughs> that we hired recently. <laughs> Oh fuck! It was uh, it was amazing. Do you know? Do you know what's even worse about this scene is that they have to show layer at the end to say, "Hey, look, the smuggling layer underneath." If you couldn't figure it out from just yeah. looking at it, <laughs> yeah. Hey, fucking retard! If you hadn't figured it out, here's layer. She's it's underneath. Such, it's such a good disguise real. that they have to show this just to be like, "Yeah, he's there." I just fucking... I can't believe this is real. I can't believe this is what Star Wars has come to. This is fucking. Oh, tiring. believe it. Oh yeah, so and they're defending it. R.I.P. Wade, by the way. Yeah, oh, oh Rip yeah. Wade. Yeah. R.I.P. Wade, best character. Yeah, you can clearly. Yeah. He's see. Uh, <laughs> Wade's Wade's cosplay of Mouse from the Matrix was my favorite thing. Oh my so many God. you see because what would happen at an airport if someone was doing this? You'd just be like, uh, I guess that kid is scared. Or oh, something. Uh, and if you didn't know, folks, by the way, the uh, the um female on the left hand side is the one who had all the agency in the episode oh yeah well she, oh, did, really? she did in the previous one as well yes oh. this is this has become her show reva's yeah. like a non-entity so in this reva, show yeah i was gonna say who, what i thought reva, reva. Well, so, I no thought no well the... you see this is the problem you know when you realize you have a shit show on your hands and it's about to come out and you're just like how can we deflect the criticism of how terrible this show is going to be Oh, I know. Let's blame our audience for being racist. Yeah. Because we hired a black one. Reva's character is just like Pissed. barely in it. And when she's in it, she's just a stupid shit. Mm. Um, because I was going to say, like, on the good guy's side, this lady's basically deciding everything. And then on the bad guy's side, Reva's basically deciding everything. Yep. Um, yes. You, you get the scene of Vader threat. But fucking dumb show vader in episode three said obi-wan is all that matters and i was like all right fine if you want to have him say that fine in this episode she's like i let obi-wan go to find more people and this is like so that's literally not what he told you to do uh so no. please and, kill and it and he's like no i won't many have pointed out including our good friend jeremy from geeks and gamers that uh she put tracker on that's how she avoided being killed by yeah. darth oh, yeah how the I fuck did that. she know that they were going to escape was that she a didn't, part of a she plan? didn't gary and that's why this is really pissily written is that she was like i had a backup plan for the plan i never thought had even failed she yep. thought she was winning this whole time but she had and a contingency again, and again do you need a tracker and many have pointed this out uh when you know that leia will probably be going back to alderaan that, where yeah her dad <laughs> is which, That's to the, be honest, that, yeah, that has to be the ultimate well, destination. You've already highlighted why this show has broken the OT yeah. because that means Bail Organ is a traitor. He should be tried and executed now. Already, he should be dead. Yeah, it's over. But how did they even or torture? Does Reva or even know that Bail Organa is a connected to Obi Wan and and b part of the rebellion? Well, so, so the problem is the people who made this don't have any clue how anything works, right? So we can trace on the planet, the city planet where kenobi came from it'll be tatooine and so when you get that it's already done because anakin or vader will be smart enough to know if obi-wan is living on tatooine i need to go see owen like something something's going on why the fuck is he hiding there he'll at least go there to kill him if nothing else so that's already fucked we know we know where kenobi is from is what i'm getting at but then it's like okay but what what evidence is there for the connection between kenobi and uh bail it's like well the fact that kenobi was on the job hours after she was kidnapped when nobody else knows they made a good so it's like who would have hired him it's like it would have been bail who else is going to well here, here let me just can i just share this uh, especially if kenobi delivers leia yeah. back to him 
and just to point out, this was done in an airport today. Uh, there will be a team of people peering up your asshole with a flashlight. Just so you know. uh, yeah. Oh Try yeah. This, no, this, no, this, nobody, this, nobody, I think this more this. kind of sums up uh, where you're going with this. The right of Kenobi is adding to the lore of Star Wars in his eyes. He's filling the gaps between episodes <laughs> three and four by creating a story about Leia being kidnapped and having Obi Wan rescue her. Right before episode four, where Leia is kidnapped and Obi-Wan has to come to rescue her. So not only that, but they stole the beat from A New Hope, the one that I've yes. always praised as being a really clever bit of writing. When you have your character trying to escape the Death Star, it's basically no, they ain't escaping the Death Star. That's not happening. How do we get them to do that? And it's like, what if Vader lets them go on purpose? And when they were assessing the ship, they've built in a tracker on it. That makes enough sense. And then when they let them go, that drags the Death Star to Yavin 4 which creates the stakes for the final act, because now we're on a ticking clock. It's really yeah, clever. The, yeah, um, the clever thing is, Vader was thinking of the bigger picture. Let them go, let them lead us to the rebellion. This is dumb. They because the Obi-Wan has, has fucking Leia, and her ultimate destination always has to be Alderaan. You're so there's you're no cleverness right. here. If they actually just sent her from the ship they're on now back to Alderaan, that would be the most embarrassing fucking failure from Reva <laughs> ever. But they're not going to do that. We're going to have a big fight at their base in the next episode, and it's going to be epic. Fuck Vader and Obi-Wan will fight again. The problem I have here is that, like, that's not even... People are, like, praising that. as like, ooh, nice bit of writing there. And it's like, so first, he stole it. And second, it was, like, repurposed all horribly wrong. Why would yeah. she put a tracker on that little droid? She thought she had Leia. She was about to torture it, presumably, in a very grotesque, like, I don't know if she's going to gouge her eyes out or something. I don't know what that machine was going to do, but the, the, the idea that she's like, better pop a tracker on this in case someone breaks her out and she escapes to the planet that would give us away the Rebel Alliance plot. Why does she even have the droid? Remember Why would when... they allow her to have... Remember the droid tried to attack Reva? I thought that was funny. It's like, you what think you General, doing? who was, you know, in the Clone Wars, would think of something like that. Like, oh, yeah, definitely. She, that could probably be tracked. Sorry, but no, he fixed it so she could play with it. And the fact that she even managed to actually convince Vader of this is fucking absurd. If he looked at any or talked to anybody about what happened, it's like, so what was Reva doing in this whole scene? She was desperately trying to stop them from leaving. And it's like, oh, but she wanted them to leave. It's like, yeah. Did you see the scene where she like ran up to the dock? <laughs> oh my God, dude. That was her running, oh. and I'm like, "Oh, we found somebody who runs worse than Jodie Whittaker." Oh, oh no! God, when, it was when like she was, she ran with a bad back. Yeah, <laughs> deflecting balls from this floating snow speeder. I was like, "Oh god, oh, that's just." It was. Oh. She was just flipping it around. And it's like, wow, they're just shooting right at her lightsaber. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that shot her in the head where her lightsaber wasn't going around <laughs> at all. But oh well. Here, here's another here's another great bit of gaslighting by the Kenobi team as well. This is on their their Twitter account. They post uh, a promotional picture. You use the word clever in association with the original trilogy, which it definitely was. Um, these are not clever people. These no. are these are cast people with no talent that have diluted the pool of talent in Hollywood. A what? pool of talent that can't speak up anymore now because they're so afraid of being called racist or sexist or anything. So they got to go with being just pushed out by cast individuals, by the disassociated corporate elites who are running that garbage town now. Right into the ground, by the way. Let it fucking fail. So what's this got to say? I can't see it. So this is, uh, I will tolerate your weakness no longer. Uh, the very next thing he does is tolerate her weakness and then yeah. validate her. Yeah. So this is embarrassing. So this is, yeah, this is embarrassing. It's like, look how badass he is. Oh, no, but then he tolerates her and then actually validates her straight afterwards. Of course. Well, and see, he didn't understand the situation. She didn't <sighs> land all of this. The best part is everybody saw this coming. Everybody saw this coming. And, and the kind of stuff that I really miss, and I, I'm never going to get it because they don't know how to write intelligently anymore. Like to get Vader to actually say something that's got subtext or any level of interest to it. I was just thinking about how imagine he had just said like, so you put a tracker on him to hope that this little girl ends up at the Rebel Alliance base. She's like, yeah. And it's like, instead of capturing all three of them and us actually just pulling it out of their fucking heads. And she'd just but be like, uh... Right, well, the, and then I just wanted to take her head off. <laughs> just end the. But the scene. weird thing like, about that is, 
Kenobi is in their eyes a hermit. He's he's in hiding. <clears throat> he's got no connection to the rebellion. He's just completely off grid. And then there's a ten year old girl. How does any of this fit into the fucking rebellion? Oh yeah, we just got to make Bail Organa appear out of fucking nowhere because uh, fucking dipshit Reva set it up. Leia should have never to, been in this series. Yeah, like, but she it, set it up to, to, to draw Obi-Wan out. And now she's fucking taking Leia and sticking her in torture devices, saying, where's the fucking Rebel base? Oh, yeah, you're right. They're running. It's like they're running two big missions at once. Oh, the Rebel mission just came out of nowhere. Like, the, we're, we're doing that, too. No, yeah, you're, you're completely right. Did, it seems like did, the yeah. Inquisitors are focused on hunting Jedi. They've heard rumors about this rebel thing, and now they're like, now we're just hunting the rebels. And it's like, oh, okay. 